Hello, this is Cast Blue, and welcome to take two of Let's Play Golden Sun. The one where I don't accidentally muck up the recording window edition. Uh, we have a few things to do here. In the town of this town. Oi. Yes, yes, they were monsters. Um, sorry if I'm breezing through text a little bit, but I did literally just do, just do all this, so I might be a little bit impatient. Uh, no, it was in the other place. Um, from this guy, we want a few different things. We want iron helmets. Yay, game tickets, I suppose. We also want... Armlets? I, no. No, we don't. We want gauntlets, though. Gauntlets for everyone. Except Isaac. And... You know, I think I'm not gonna buy the, the silk robe. It is slightly better defense for I, Ivan, not Maya, incidentally. Excuse me. But the Adam's clothes, for that small amount of defense difference, it's more worthwhile to have the, to keep the clothes for the PP boost. Uh, and by the same metric. Um Well for probably I'm the next set of armor I get I'm gonna replace the fur coat with. But for now, the added water defense is still more worthwhile than ten extra defense, particularly on someone like Garrett. Okay, and that's the armor. Oh, wait. And that's the armor. Next up is the weapon shop here. Okay, that's where it is. Nine coins. whoop de do. We're set for life now. But there is a neat new rod here. The Synergy Rod. Um, I think the name is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll go ahead and spell it out for you anyway. When you unleash with this, you absorb synergy so that, um, well, so that you gain synergy points, really. I don't know if it actually leeches points off of them because I'm not even sure if enemies use synergy points for their synergy, but if they do, then presumably it does. And I don't think there's even anything in here, actually. Yes, I did. Ah. <laughs> and I think these two. Yeah, they are. These are the two who were in the uh, Zion, Zion, Zhang. However, it's pronounced. I don't. I. I honestly don't know. Uh, I didn't want to leave my hometown, that's why I came back, is what he said. Pot, nothing in pot. Okay then. Well, what do we do now, you ask? I believe we talked to this guy. Fine, that's interesting to know, but you're not the one I wanted to talk to. Perhaps this fellow? No, we already talked to him. Maybe in here. Right, this is it. We talked to this guy. Why, yes, we are trying to find our way through the mountains. There should be a passage that leads west at the bottom of the mine. How convenient. Good thing we killed all those water spitters. I mean, seriously, gargoyles... Gargoyles are never a good thing. Um... <laughs> Wait. I guess I never set these. Hmm. Do I get the synergy for this in this dungeon? I don't think I do, but that would be nice. Um... I certainly don't have it right now, so... Well, I guess we'll find out. Anything over here? Rat soldiers. 
rat soldiers. Oh, that reminds me. By the way, check it. Oh. Excuse me. It seems I didn't absorb PP that time. Presumably because these don't have any synergy. But yeah, that reminds me. Isaac is totally faster than Maya. Uh, and then Maya goes for him. Proving me wrong. Damn it. This has been really inconsistent. I think it doesn't upgrade update her agility properly when she levels up until she gets into a battle or a change something. That seems to be... Oh, wait, no. No, I know. Her agility was lower before because she didn't have her genie set. Okay, that explains that. That explains it. Any... There's nothing here, is there? I definitely feel like it should have gone the other way. Oh well. Oh well. Just oh well. Yeah. If we were actually being successful in draining synergy off of these, so if we were fighting something that actually had synergy to drain, it would tell us that we how much we drained and and that we had done so. Unfortunately, you know, there's no accounting for bad dance partners, I guess you could say. Uh, this is- oh hey, it's uh, we already fought the Mimic in here, so it's definitely not a Mimic. It's a Lucky Metal! There's never more than one Mimic in one dungeon in Golden Sun. But there are Skeletons and Tarantula. Let's use Storm Ray, because it seems like the thing to do. Well, that's certainly effective against the spiders. Ah, pretty good against the skeleton too, actually. Like, you know, not great, but... Pretty good. Now then... What is over here? I don't know. I really don't remember a whole lot about this particular mine. So... What was I saying now? Um... Right, so, I'm sort of just wandering in one direction and hoping I find- Oh, it's a Ginny! It's a Ginny, that's important. Uh, okay, I recognize this, actually. This is a simple puzzle, but one that's very easy to get wrong. And now, if we get up there, we can get across. Uh, which is good, because we need to do so to get to the Ginny. Okay, okay, um, I don't remember what's up here. So what, so what is up here? Let, let, let's, let's try that again. Uh, Puddle Freeze! I still th think every time I see this that it's ridiculous that a puddle of that size turns into an a ice pillar like this. But, you know, w whatever. It's, it's not important. It really isn't. Uh, what is important is that we flip the switch. So we can get the Ginny. Because Ginnies are important. And apparently the first number four we'll hit is, is water. Go figure. Oh, it ran away. Stupid rat soldiers running away. Oh well. Oh well. Let's actually jump in. Okay, this is what I was talking about earlier. We can go over that even though the flip has been switched. Which makes no sense, you would totally derail the cart. But, you know, game logic. And now we can go back and over! And the Ginny is ours uh, after we save. Die, Ginny! Okay, let's see how quickly we can do this. Uh, excuse me. I'm not gonna bother root with resistance, but agility is still good. Um, if we were all to sleep, that would be amazing. Ragnarok and Forge. Uh, 
Uh, it's asleep! Huzzah! Now we can't run away. Which is why it's amazing. Because you know I'm not going to use a single physical attack on it, you know? I'm just going to melt it, pretty much. Um, melt. Ah, mm, uh, well... Yeah, may as well do this. My isn't going to be very effective against it. So, so flint and fever. Oh, that woke it up. Oh, well. Oh, really, Maya? Really? We were so close to getting the bonus. Oh, well. Oh, well, it's not that big a deal. Huzzah! Uh, spurts. Let me think. Um, if I remember what this one... You know, I have no idea what spurts does. I have no idea at all. Whatever. It's, it's not important. Well, it could be important, actually. I'm, my not remembering isn't important. Uh, okay, I didn't actually look just there. Uh, restores HP. It's another H HP restoring one. That's, that's, that's to be expected, I guess. Well, actually, no, it's not. I knew that there was more than one HP restoring Ginny, but it's kind of weird that two of the of them are water, or that they're both water, and they're within my first four. That's kind of poorly planned out, I think. Oh, but that's a really important spell. Like you have no idea. Um, you can probably guess by looking at it that it is, well, a healing spell. However, it's a very special healing spell. It, he it restores life, uh, can't talk, to the entire party at once. We, with the wish, we have officially arrived at effective healing. And now everyone's topped off, huzzah, which is actually a bit of a waste, but, you know, I had to demonstrate it once. Hmm. I kind of feel like I should- oh, oops. Okay, so, I actually want to go check something really quickly, and it's probably going to pan out as nothing, but it's sort of eating me that I didn't go left out of the first part. I think it just leads to the uh, to a uh, minecart and nothing else, but I I'm going to go check it to see if there's a box there, and if not, I'll just meet you back here, and if so, I'll show you. But, in either case, I'll see you in a minute. After I retreat! And we're back. And just in time to finish this. Puzzle? Room? Whatever you want. I wouldn't even call this a puzzle, really. Um, but still, just in time to finish whatever that was called. That you would call that. And... By the way, I want to point this out, actually. Because she has job class up gain, look at her agility. She's nearly as fast as Ivan now. Of course, as, having said that, she's doing that with a combination of having a job up, level up on Ivan and having the a really powerful speed enhancer. So, it's not like this is natural Maya here. But even so, it's impressive that sh she has managed to be, well, that fast. At the very least, it means I won't need to put up with constantly shuffling her and Isaac around for a little while. And Calamari! You're definitely weak against fire. Like, I'm positive of it. So, let's go ahead and use Flare Wall? Or fireball. Tough choice. Let's go with flare ball. I mean, I guess I could use a Ginny, but I don't really care that much, to be honest. Oh, that only killed the middle one. How embarrassing. Well, I guess Isaac didn't miss. But even so. Even so. 
and an elixir. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I think we're near the end, actually. This, that's what this sort of feels like. I'm. Um, let me think. If what I remember of this, we fought three living statues, right? Um, I don't think there's a boss besides the statues we fought earlier in this place. So, I could very easily be misremembering about the length of it, but I don't think there's a boss at the end. I think it just comes out like a cave, essentially. Uh, which makes sense since it is, in fact, a cave. Uh, this looks familiar. We, ah, excuse me. We came through here earlier, except down there. But we probably want to go up. Wow. Now this looks familiar to me. We'll see if it's what I think it is when we get, oh. Well, there's only one thing for us to do now, and that's to completely disregard the sign. Get ready for this. Oh, yes. I'm not actually in control here, it's doing it automatically. But that just happened. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. I don't think we can go down the hole, so... Let's just go ahead and keep moving this way. Uh, on second thought, I think we need to go down the hole. Um, <laughs> just call it a hunt. Which I guess is nice, because it means we won't need to worry about going to that area, but right, we climbed down the tracks. Like so. Uh, ooh. That is the wall of a structure. Where are we now? Cause... Wait. This looks like a temple. Like, it's similar to Mount Elf. Uh, so I was remembering right when I thought there was one more really big one of those. Uh, although I didn't tell you about that, so you'll have to take my word for it. But I had to keep the suspense up. So, since I have the four water synergy, water genies, and I'm probably going to try for the- I haven't even shown the level three water summon yet, have I? In any case, this seems like a good time to mention the way summons work in this game. Uh, well, I'll get into the battle and I'll explain it then. Yep, this is a boss. Uh, let's open up the normal way. You know, I don't actually want to use any of Virginia, to be honest. I like being able to use Wish every turn with her. And unless I was planning on using a summon, which keep me in mind that this guy is resi most resistant to water, so it's not a great idea with her. Uh, I'm better off just not using her genie at all. That said... That said, speaking of summons, what I, wa what I sort of got sidetracked there with... The way summons calculate their damage formula in this game... Part of it is just based on your raw stats, and of course the base modifier for the summon, as with any spell. However, there's also another segment of the calculation that is based on the H total HP of the target, meaning that summons will deal more damage to targets that have more HP. Which means that they are amazingly good at killing bosses, especially higher level summons. That, that wasn't so bad. Which is why summon rushing is a strategy, 
Not one that I plan on showing you, but it's it's a thing. Well, maybe I'll show you at some point. I mean, I can think of one or two bosses where... Excuse me. It could be appropriate. I just ate, by the way, which is why that keeps happening. Uh, defense is good. But yeah, you see, Wish is amazing. Wh In her case, probably way better than using her Ginny. It might start out the battle a turn, but it'll, it'll take away almost any... most danger, uh, in any case. Maybe not any danger, but a lot of it. Um... Sure, we can use Ramses and Fever. I'm gonna get- I'm gonna get a show team at this time around, so that'll be nice. Also, I've been summoned again. Ah, uh, that just doesn't feel much. Oh hey, I didn't even know I could wrap you in delusion. Apparently so. It is really going easy on me, actually. Not that it really matters too much, because I pretty much have its number with Maya right now. But even so, it could be dealing, like, 70 damage to three party members each turn. Which would be really damn hard to keep up with if I didn't have Wish. But instead, but instead of doing that, it's doing things that are decidedly less effective. Uh, Ramses, I guess. And Tiamat! Now, unless I'm very much mistaken, Tiamat will probably kill it. That was a lot of damage. I hope I didn't miscalculate. Like, if, I swear, if Ramsey kills this thing and it stops me from showing off Tiamat again, but I don't think it will. Huzzah! I calculated it right. Yep, Tiamat's a dragon. Who'd have th thunk it? Everyone would have, thunk would have thunk it. Tiamat is always a freaking dragon. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense when you consider where the name originated from, but, you know, whatever. Uh, that didn't kill it, though, much to my surprise. Oh well. Looks like a job for Storm Ray and Wish. Oh, which reminds me, check out Wish's casting icon. It's- everything is completely flat. It doesn't target anyone, because it targets everyone. It is a spell that affects everyone equally, as opposed to, say, one of these. Which I forgot to mention, but I think it's the first example of that we've actually had. So I sh should probably have brought it up. Well, it's dead now. It was certainly the tankiest spot we fought thus far, although it's probably not the most difficult. And hey, we leveled up! Cool. We did it, Isaac. We beat the last water beast. More of a guardian statue, really. I wonder why Elton's guardian statues turned into monsters, Synergy Stones. It's always Synergy Stones. Oh, I'm sure you get that sort of thing all the time. You're damn right I do. I mean, haven't you been paying attention to the first 10 hours of this game? 10 hours for me, at least. I think it's been less for you guys. Uh, still, it's strange that the bottom of the mine was made of carved stone. The Guardian statues were creating law were created, rather, long, long ago. What are they for? Protecting... A treasure chest. Which, if this is what I think it is... Well, I'll give you a hint. It's for dealing with those rocks, if it's what I think it is. I guess so. Hey, Isaac, we should check out that chest before we go. I agree. 
so that's just what I'm gonna do. Guess what, I was right, it's the lifting gem. I think you can figure out from the name what it does, but having said that, we are a little bit long right now, so I'm gonna call it here. And join me next time when I equip the lifting stone and use it to get treasure and make my way deeper into the mine. But until then, this has been Chaos Blue with Let's Play Golden Sun, and have a nice day.